Today I want to talk to you about how you can ensure you have your leadership on board with your 2021 marketing plans. There's nothing worse than getting to three quarters of the year and realizing that you're really busy and you have a lot to do but you're not actually working towards the goals that you set out to achieve. Um, and so the first step in making sure that we're going to actually get our marketing plan working for us is to have our leadership on board. So why is it so important that we really stop at the step of getting leadership on the same plate? Well, first of all, it will give you the authority that you need to implement your marketing plan across the whole college. Uh, marketing is more than just a one person job and there will be lots of people coming together to make things like open events successful, um, musicals, yearbooks, content writing, um, all come together. It involves a lot more than just the marketing team. And so having your leadership on the same place will help you to have the authority to uh, pull in those additional departmental resources that you'll need to make your marketing plan work. You'll also have leadership driven support from, um, from um, the college. So when it comes to things like t uh, time commitments for events, um, getting staff to come to open events or having write, uh, staff write articles for you, um, it'll mean that that is driven from the top down. It's not just you telling a colleague what to do, but it's just that you, you know that you have the support and the time commitment from the leaders to ask for those additional resources and you've already had that open discussion about what it's going to take to implement your marketing plan. Having leadership on the same place also will give you the authority to stay focused on the plan and to learn to say no to the things that aren't going to push towards the goals that you've already set out. Um, we all schools are very busy environments and there's often going to be things that are thrown on our plate and some flexibility will be needed but when you start to see that overall the picture is starting to shift away to more random work rather than working towards your plan it'll just give you that platform and that same understanding to open the discussion and say I need to stay focused on the goals that we set at the start of the year. Um, having your leadership on board will also give you a baseline to measure your success and reflect on the year when the year is done. Your leadership will be on board in terms of what you wanted to achieve and that will be a discussion point as you go through the year to check your success. Okay, so how do we get leadership on board? First of all, uh, we need to know as marketing people within schools that marketing is a lot more than just promotions. We need to have a holistic discussion about the whole school offering um, rather than just a promotions plan. So our marketing strategy really needs to include our service offerings, our subjects, co-curricular offering, how we tackle our pricing compared to our competitors, um, the location of our school and how we make our school more accessible with um, transport options such as buses and public transport and things like that and then of course we need to look at promotions too but we need to as a first step get used to having those bigger picture discussions with our leadership so that all of those um, influencing factors that are going to influence our promotions at the end of the day um, don't kind of work as barriers to the effectiveness of your marketing plan. The next thing I recommend is that we present our annual marketing plan um, to the college leadership but then allow for a period of time for feedback um, and so that you can make alterations and you can get detailed input from the leadership team so that it's truly a joint plan and not just a presentation to the leadership but that they've had their thoughts and recommendations and ideas put into the plan. That'll also ensure that they fully endorse um, the plan that you come up with. One thing to note is that marketers can often get carried away with their creative ideas, especially if we come from you know, corporate marketing background into a school environment. We may forget that we probably are the only marketing background person in the school. And so we can often lose our um, audience. So I like to check that people are with me when presenting the plan, that they fully understand. I like to ask questions. And I understand that part of my role as a school marketer 
marketer is to educate leadership on the importance and market of marketing and how it works. Um, there's a lot of myths and ideas that will come out that aren't really effective in the marketing area that you can kind of address in those meetings. The next thing I like to do is to make the sign off of the marketing plan official. That means that when we've gone through the whole feedback process and we've finalized the marketing plan, have official um, have a meeting and name that meeting marketing plan sign off for approval so that they know this is the go point from here. Um, and also have a space for a signature where you, especially when it comes to marketing budgets um, or time allocations, have a signature just to say, just to make it official and just say, yes, we are joint on this and we are going to work towards this plan together. Um, when you have your check-in meetings, make sure that um, those are done based off the plan um, so that uh, you can have a baseline for where people are at in terms of you know what you, you, you you're working out what you said you're going to achieve and um, and use the plan as a check-in process to see um, how your progress is going through the year when things do come up and as I said schools are very busy environments raise concerns about when something comes up that hinders the outworking of your plan um, for example, resource commitments, you may be asked to, uh, you know, work on some new projects and some, as I said, some flexibility is needed, but big picture, we need to stay on the goals um, and realize when things are just filling up for the sake of filling up versus being strategic and working towards um, your goals for the year. The next best way to get principals on board is to really highlight your successes to date and speak in terms of return on investment. And to do that well, you're really going to have to get good at looking at the data, really understanding how are parents finding out about our school and why are they enrolling and which marketing campaigns have been effective. Um, you really need to be able to say, hey, I, um, you know, we, we, we're spending roughly $1,000 per enrollment. Um, that's a really good return on investment when students are staying with us for an average of, you know, 8 to 12 years. Um, let's invest more. And so when you start to talk about return on investment, that's really going to be where leaders are going to get on board and understand the value that you are adding. So the one obstacle that marketers face when they're trying to get their leadership on board is that um, they may say, well, my, my principal is time poor, he's a busy man, um, and uh, they're not always available to meet or to discuss these ideas um, with me. Um, how, do I, how do I get leadership on board when we work in such a busy environment? And that's a pretty common problem and obstacle that every marketer in the school is going to have to face. And I would say, let's not start by sending out weekly catch-up meetings and say, okay, I'm going to catch up with my principal every week and this is going to be amazing and we're going to work from here forward. But I would start with one or two set high impact meetings that you are super prepared for. You deliver outstanding value, um, you're engaged, you have a lot of two-way discussion so that you can start to demonstrate how serious you are about growing the college and you can start to put in there your education about um, the return on investment that they're getting for investing in the marketing field. Once you have one or two of those meetings, your principal will start to learn that these meetings are really worth their time and they're going to get a lot of return on investment for it so they'll make themselves available. And we also need to know how to work on the strengths of our principal. So if they are more um, strategically minded, don't um, bog them down with super um, fine details in your marketing plan um, that only you and your, your team need to know about. Um, think big picture, keep it concise and work to your principal strengths so that he can give he or she can give input into um, your marketing plan at, at the level that they're used to.